in Pennsylvania. It's not here by mistake. It's because this is a mecca of hardcore, you know? Other places have been a mecca of hardcore. Some places are for a minute and they fall off. Some places, you know, are slow and steady, but like this has always been a mecca for hardcore. This is what we're, we, we built this shit here, you know what I mean? You don't talk about hardcore without talking about Pennsylvania. It's just, it's not feasible. Remember there was this like ridiculous bar fight where some dude got his head smashed in with a bar stool. That was my first exposure to like the way Philadelphia deals with things. Uh, well, Out to Win originally started as Mushmouth uh, back in 95. It was actually uh, uh, spawned from a joke, really. Uh, you know, a bunch of us sitting around here in Reading uh, in my apartment, you know, Red, wide-eyed, FOD, you know, autistic behavior. All these different bands, you know, around that were in Philly, like 1982 to 84. We had Center City, South Street, also West Philadelphia, which was the CEC Center. Boston, New York, DC, Jersey. I mean, Pennsylvania is, is, the, is the heart of the East Coast, as far as I'm concerned. Well, Pennsylvania, the best thing I remember about Pennsylvania is CEC. Probably our first out-of-state show ever. Explosive shows, unlimited fucking beer, tons of fucking pizza, and I think we were maybe 19. Really? Get any better than that. Thank, Thank you, Pennsylvania. Was the first time we really ever played out. New Year's 1992, I took, I decided I didn't want to drink anymore for a New Year's resolution. And that summer, I decided to say, well, I guess I sort of said strange. Well, I was in high school, so I CC's was real important. I mean, it was uh, constant shows every weekend. I, we would we would be there no matter what. We didn't even know who, who was playing, and it was sometimes we'd go up there and and be surprised. I naturally um, was just attracted to the, the punk rock movement and and just. You know, not giving a fuck about anything ever. And that set it off. And it was fucking nuts. Like full on riot in Starlight. The cops showed up with like shields and batons and stuff. There was dudes with dogs, crusty pumps and pit bulls. There was a guy outside like he'd set a dog on someone, you know. Um, and we were like, what? And you know what was weird for me? Allen Town. All the Nazis. You little kids have no idea what it was like. We used part. to start going with all the Nazi skinheads because you were lucky you had a shaved head. This guy always had hair, and they and it was that didn't make me safe. Yeah, and they, they, you would go go up, you know, city gardens, you know, um, airport bingo hall. You'd walk up to them, or they'd walk up to you, and they'd have like white owned you know, war, you know, flyers, and you had to take it. If they didn't, they fucked you up. Philadelphia has been really great to us, just in general, like I mean, some of the shit here, or not, but like really, like further out in the state was kind of on to us. Like, like the first shows I remember playing where I'm like, yo, I think people are starting to get us. We're at like Lansdale and Our like Phoenix Village really and, and stuff like that. Never, you never lose it as far as I'm concerned. There's always something in you about this music that you love and that's a part of it. You know, and I like that. That's what I keep for myself. You know, like there's a, there's a part of hardcore that's that's in me and taught me a lot. It taught me a lot about friendship, a lot about loyalty. You know? um, to see bands uh, take the floor, you know, like they get on the floor and start. We based our whole thing on violence, which you know everyone everyone needs a gimmick, and you know, people love violence. So I mean, we wanted to get as hardcore as we could get. That's where we took it. Well, in the South was a whole different world back then. You know, Philly was a different world back then. You know, we're talking about like. It was like, it, it's so fucking pasteurized right now, man. The way of, like, when you walk down the street back in 1982 or 83, and you had a bald head and, like, an army jacket, you, know, you were fucked. He has produced a, a lot of great bands, you know. Maybe some of my favorites would be, you know, Mush Mouth and Out to Win. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, 
clutch back in the day, one of my favorites. Um, I was really psyched to see Dysphoria. I don't think I've seen them niggas for like 20 years. I don't think I've seen that same drum set that this that was the same, you know? We were like, what the fuck? And um, there was this, I can't remember his name. We have it on film where somebody jumps over somebody's like, cracks the kid in the face <laughs> and just starts this whole big fucking thing. And there's like, then Van Buck goes on, and there's like holes in the walls and bats in the fucking wall. And, but uh, CC was, was awesome because it was, it was like Stroudsburg kids, uh, Scranton kids, and it was a, a really good mix of people. Uh, really credit Crutch for a lot of that with us because we were, you know, we're definitely friends with Crutch and they got us on a bunch of shows and stuff like that. I think it's overrated. It's all it's with everything. And it's not like, you know, like the stories you heard back in the early 80s, like out in the West Coast with like germ shows and dead Kennedy shows and stuff like that. It's, you know, here in the eight, mid 80s, we had like the skinhead violence going on. I remember like shows at Pizzazz, like getting stupid there, you know, and even at the Y, there were some stupid incidents there. But. Lifeless! Lifeless was a mix of two bands. There's Denbeg, and it was uh, this other band called Wendy's Day's End, which is what Kyle, Michael, and Ryan were all in. And me and Jay were in Den Buried at the time. Oh, did I mosh the fucking yeah. audio thing? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mosh the audio thing. Hardcore. I remember the first time I went to see a show at the Stalag, I was just mind blown, baffled about how I was at like basically a abandoned apartment building and seeing like Voice That's Fire and like Converge and Turmoil and all these bands that were just like, what the hell? How does this happen, you know? It was quite an uh, extravaganza these shows. We, we got kicked out of just uh, out of well, every good club in this city. <laughs> most of the time it was for like almost setting it on fire or, or Jimmy blowing, blowing stuff up. And, <laughs> but the friend, the friends one was a good one because that guy was a total fucking asshole. And those friends outside the hardcore scene will never understand. But that's okay, you know, I know any of them, my friends from Hardcore will do anything, they'll be anywhere I need them to, and I, I, hopefully something like this documentary will help make people realize that it's not just about the music, it's not just about, you know, like, you always portray this as a violent sort of scene, and it's not really about that. And Pennsylvania Hardcore, uh, Hardcore in general, you know, has shown me more love and that I ever earned or ever deserved. It's been the most gratifying thing. It gave me confidence, it gave me spirit, it gave me everything I needed to get through. You know, it taught me so many things that I didn't expect to come from any of that. Hardcore has a special place in my that I will not leave ever. Everything that was instilled in me from that time of the age of 13 until when I was like 22, when I finally just moved on to a different, you know, different scene. That is still in me, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be instilled in my kids when I have my kids. We were originally in a band called Legion of Decency, and we played the very first hardcore show in Philadelphia at the Love Hall. I think it was us, Little Gentlemen. And from there, it just went crazy. We got our practice studio in Lansdale, and that's when we just kind of started focusing on Lansdale. It was a good, a lot of people that would go out to live shows. And um, Earth Crisis has been coming to Pennsylvania since probably 1992, you know, all the way up until today. Um, I remember doing a lot of great shows at like um, CC's and Music, played with Turmoil and Crutch, uh, 25 to Life, Strength for Reason, and we came down like at the beginning and we'd see Conviction. And they were definitely one of our favorite bands. The um, original Satanic Rave, I showed up too late. Uh, I saw the cops beat on my friends. I saw fireworks going off, being shot at cops. Uh, you know, the rest is history, man. CC's is awesome. Was, uh, <laughs> everyone knows, you know, from Northeast Pennsylvania, it was just a, a dive spot. Um, the owner Vince was a character, and so dad would sit by the door, ornery old dude. Hey, I'm PA, baby. All the way. Hey, keep it going, keep it real. Keep the hardcore going. Awesome. I'm glad I'm part of it. <laughs>